Welcome to my museum. May I put to rest any questions you may have conjured? I was just reading about the fascinating life of Chang and Eng and uh, wondering if their death was just as fascinating. Oh, very much so. On a cold January eve in 1874, Eng awoke to find his brother had passed away during the course of the night. A few hours later, Eng himself departed from this world. Now, these facts themselves may be less than fascinating, but imagine, imagine being Eng and lying there, knowing that essentially half your body was now dead, that the rest must inevitably follow, and being able to do about it, absolutely nothing. At the autopsy, it was officially concluded that Chang died of a cerebral hemorrhage. What was the official cause of Eng's death? Fright. Do you have any information on blockhead or geek acts? This is an historical collection on human curiosities. Blockheads are skilled performers. Like magicians? Like sword swallowers, who really do swallow swords. And geeks are neither skilled nor curiosities. They're merely unseemly, not even attaining the level of gaffes. Gaffes? I observe closely the dissimilarity of the facial features. Conjoined twins are always identical. These gentlemen are phonies, gaffes. Sort of like the Fiji mermaid? <laughs> You're investigating the alligator man's murder, yes? I have something I believe you might find of some interest. What does this have to do with the Glazebrook murders? I've recently come into possession of an authentic P.T. Barnum exhibit. Now, I don't show this display to all my customers, only those with the intellectual curiosity to appreciate it. Barnum built it as a great unknown. I must first ask of you two favors. Tell no soul what you're witnessing here. And the second favor? An additional donation of five dollars. <laughs> 